bring back your opinion spot. Um, first and foremost, shout out to Dr. Doomfake for handing me this information. Um, it's confirmed. Um, Ryan Reynolds, Hal Jordan. Uh, uh, man, I mean, a little shocked. I mean, because he's basically what the only, if you want to call it that, the only other actor to work for Marvel and now going to work for DC. I mean, if you're going to throw in uh, James uh, Mars Marsden, who played Cyclops, and he starred in, he was also in Superman Returns, but in my book that doesn't count because Ryan Reynolds is going to play, he's played iconic characters for Marvel and now for DC. You know, he was even in talks to play uh, Wally West Flash a few years ago. But the real question my, my friend uh, Dr. Doomfate asked was, how do I feel about it? How do I feel about Ryan Reynolds playing Hal? Um, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm a little shocked. Uh, um, first and foremost because, um, honestly guys, I don't see Ryan Reynolds as Hal to me. You know, I see him more as Kyle Rayner. That's my opinion. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, that's how I feel. I see him as a Kyle more than a Hal. You know, but Ryan Reynolds is a great actor. I love his work. You know, he can be funny. He can be. He can. He can do action. You know, everything like that. But I don't see him as 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 Hal in some way but I'm not saying he can't pull it off because he probably can pull it off you know for example Wade Wilson was perfect for him you know let's put that straight out there Wade Wilson aka Deadpool was perfect for for uh, Mr. Reynolds um, he played Hannibal King from the whole you know the the the, uh, the Blade series if you know the character Hannibal King he's just like Blade but they kind of altered it in the movie. But he was just like Blade, just stronger than Blade. Um, but to give you my opinion on it, guys, I think he can pull it off. But I'm gonna also give you a little more into who I felt should have played Hal Jordan. Now, for all those who know this character, you know his work is his work is pretty good. Um, and this actor is David Boreanaz. I felt that he was perfect for Hal Jordan, you know, especially when he voiced him in the whole um, Justice League uh, Final Frontier, New Frontier, I believe. I'm, I may be getting it wrong. Um, he was perfect as Hal. He had that suave voice. And even when you look at him, I, I, when I watch him to, to this day on Angel, I love Angel. And even when I'm watching his new series, Bones. I see how I'm looking at him. I'm like, man, that, that's how he looks. He could play a how, and that, that's my opinion on guys. I mean, I thought David Boreanaz was perfect as how, Hal Jordan. You know, but other than that, you know, it's good to see that Warner Brothers is fair, putting putting everything into process. You know what I'm saying? Putting everything in the process, getting how out there to the public eye again. You know, not just in the comic media, but finally in the big screen media. You know, I know that I've, I've talked to a couple of friends that said they wish that Hal was in the Justice League Unlimited series for good. You know, they say no disrespect to um, to John Stewart, but they fish. They wished Hal was the the Green Lantern of the Justice League Unlimited uh, universe. You know, we did get a glimpse of him. In that that whole um, series where he, Batman, um, uh, John Stewart, Wonder Woman went back in time, they were going back and forth through time and in the future, things like that, we get to see a little montage to Hal Jordan. But this movie um, is definitely, definitely going to be, in my book, I think it's going to be something special. You know, I think they're really going to pull it off, in my opinion. But you know, I could be wrong, you know, 
I could be wrong and to say, oh, they might fail at it. But once again, like I've always said, if they sit down and really get in deep with this character. Because I'm a huge fan of Green Geo. I love Geo. And I don't want to see them mess up this character. Especially to bring them to the big screen. You know what I'm saying? And with the technology today, they can pull it off. But, like I said, I feel that... I feel that... Um, Mr. Ryan Reynolds can pull it off. He can pull it off. So there's your, there's your answer, uh, Dr. Doomfate. I think he can pull it off. But in my eyes, he wasn't my choice for Green Lantern. Um, though I know that the Green Lantern story is going to be about Hal, but we are going to see Guy Gardner in there and Clark Kent showing at that. Because if you know the, the story of the ring that, that, um, when Ab and Sora, Sora uh, told the ring to find, to choose another, the ring had other choices. Um, Guy Gardner was closer, but it didn't choose him. And it, it glimpsed Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman, but it chose Hal Jordan, you know. But other than that, you know, things are looking good for G.O. Um, we got the Blackest Night story that's coming out. Um, as well as the Green Lantern First Flight uh, feature film um, coming out, which is going to tell the story of Hal. Um, and if you're a fan of Law and Order SVU like I am, then I'm going to give you a glimpse of who's voicing Hal. And the, the actor that's voicing him is this man right here, Christopher Melios, a.k.a. Elliot Stabler, who plays in Law and Order SVU. I love that show. Um, so I think he should give a little more in-depth and a little more ruggedness to Hal in some way, especially the way he, he voices, his voice comes off. Um, but other than that, guys, like I said, David Boreanaz would have been my first choice. Um, not saying, um, Mr. Ryan Reynolds can't pull it off. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, but he can. I mean... But it, it'll be big things for Mr. Ryan Rose because he is, there is a spinoff for Deadpool and my guess is he will be back to reprise that role. Um, but it'll be good to see that, see, there, you can share, you can be, you can do both. You can do Marvel and you can do DC. You can do the big two. You know what I'm saying? Um, and other than that, guys, um, uh, I just, um, that's it, you know, uh, friends who want to get my opinion on Ryan Reynolds playing Hal Jordan, there you have it. I think he can pull it off. I think he could damn sure do a great job at it. However, my first choice was not Mr. Ryan Reynolds. It has always been and will always be Mr. David Boreanaz. Okay? And um, to leave off, I'm working very hard on the final four of my DC tributes, okay? So all my friends and subscribers, look forward to those. And for all those who finally guessed the final four, you get a, a clap for that. Um, and also i like to give another shout out to... Uh, ass kicker um, for the little co-project we, we did together ass kicker it will be on soon I'm just going to finish the touches on it but I think I'm going to leave it for last and that's going to be like my my f almost like my farewell to DC I'm going to leave off with saying give a little farewell project but don't worry guys I will be back to DC it's just going to be time to move on to another publication like I always do um so there you guys have it Ryan Reynolds confirmed as Hal Jordan now the real question is who's gonna be confirmed to play if they're gonna have Sinestro in it that's gonna be crazy um but there's your answer Dr. Doomfate there you go Doc 
I think he can pull it off, but he's not my f my choice. He was not my first choice. Um, so you guys, once again, feel free to leave your comments of today's topic. Give your opinion on it. I'd love to hear your opinion. And once again, um, stay tuned. Keep it real. And um, this is Mount Vernon Kid, a.k.a. Chris, saying peace.